we're diving into the mesmerizing world of one of nature's most skilled aviators, the dragonfly. These incredible insects are not just fascinating to watch, but play a critical role in our ecosystems. And stick around to find out what makes dragonflies so cool, especially the species found right here in North America. As the days get warmer and the air is buzzing with life, you'll start to notice these agile flyers darting over ponds, streams, meadows, and maybe even your own backyard. But have you ever wondered what makes dragonflies so unique? Let's find out by first exploring their life history and some interesting facts about them, then dive into their habitat, diet, and how they differ from their close relatives, the damselflies. And lastly, I'll make sure to provide some tips for attracting these interesting insects to your home and garden. Dragonflies belong to the order Odonta, which means tooth one in Greek, referring to the serrated mandible. There are about 5,000 species of dragonflies worldwide and around 450 species in North America alone. Let's start by exploring their fascinating life history. Dragonflies exhibit an intriguing life history, going through incomplete metamorphosis, which begins in the water. They lay their eggs in or near freshwater, and these eggs hatch into aquatic larvae called nymphs. These nymphs are voracious predators, feeding on other aquatic insects and even tadpoles, and small fish. Depending on their species, dragonflies can spend from a few months to several years in this nymph stage, molting multiple times as they grow. When it's time for the final molt, the nymph climbs out of the water and sheds its skin and emerges as an adult dragonfly. This transformation is nothing short of magical. Within hours, their wings harden and they're ready to take flight to the skies. Now let's talk about some interesting facts that makes dragonflies truly remarkable. First off, their flying abilities are second to none. Dragonflies can fly forwards, backwards, hover like helicopters. They can even reach speeds of 30 miles per hour. The agility makes them exceptional hunters, catching their prey mid-air with incredible precision. Their diet mainly consists of flying insects, including mosquitoes, mayflies, damselflies, and other small insects. In fact, a single dragonfly can consume hundreds of mosquitoes in a day, making them nature's pest controllers. Imagine a summer evening outside without all those pesky bites. All thanks to our dragonfly friends. But what features make dragonflies such great hunters, besides their spectacular flying abilities? You're right, their eyesight. One of the most fascinating aspects of dragonfly is their vision. Dragonflies have some of the most complex eyes in the insect world, with up to 30,000 individual facets in each compound eye. This gives them nearly 360 degrees vision and the ability to detect movement and color changes with incredible precision. Further, scientists believe that they can see color well beyond the human's color spectrum. Psychedelic, man. And do you know what else is crazy? The combination of their agility and speedy flight, along with their exceptionally good sight, makes them one of the most successful hunters per hunting attempt. Like other dragonflies observed in their study, scientists have found, on average, they catch up to 95% of the prey that they pursue. North America is home to a variety of dragonfly species, each with its unique charm. Let's meet three of them. The common green darter. Known for its vibrant green body and impressive migratory behavior, this species travels thousands of miles between Canada and the southern United States, the eastern pond hawk. With its striking blue and green coloration, this dragonfly is a fierce predator, often seen patrolling ponds and marshes, scooping up prey through the air with its leg spines that kind of act like a collection net. It then flies off to a convenient perch to eat its catch. The blue dasher. Easily recognizable by its bright blue abdomen and distinctive perching behavior, this species is a common sight in gardens and wetlands. And before moving on to learning the differences between dragonflies and damselflies, if you're gaining anything from this video, give it a thumbs up. And as a thanks for doing so, check out this amazing dragonfly. While dragonflies and damselflies might look similar at first glance, there are some key differences between the two. Dragonflies have broader bodies when at rest, and they hold their wings perpendicular to their bodies. Damselflies, on their hand, have slimmer bodies and typically fold their wings upright at rest. Also, their large protruding eyes from their relatively small heads gives the damselfly a hammerhead-like appearance that's not observed in dragonflies. Damselflies also tend to be less powerful flyers when compared to dragonflies. However, both are equally fascinating and play important roles in their respective ecosystems. Creating a dragonfly-friendly habitat in your backyard is a great way to attract these incredible insects, supporting their conservation. All you need is a water feature, like a small pond with some aquatic plants. This provides the perfect breeding ground and a place for nymphs to grow. If a small pond is not practical, an alternative helpful action 
would be to avoid using pesticides in your yard or limit their use, as they can harm dragonflies and other beneficial insects. Also providing perching spots like a rock or tall plants will encourage the dragonfly to visit your garden. Dragonflies are not only cool, but ecologically valuable. They help control insect populations, acting like natural pest managers. Their presence indicates a healthy ecosystem, as they require clean water to thrive. By conserving dragonflies, we're also helping to protect the ecological integrity of our water sources and our overall biodiversity. There are several ways you can contribute to dragonfly conservation. Participating in citizen science projects, like the Dragonfly Pond Watch, where you can monitor and report your dragonfly sightings, is an awesome way to help. I don't know what that was, but something wanted to help there. Maybe it spotted a dragonfly. And you can find the link in the description if you're interested in learning more. And let us know if you've had any cool dragonfly encounters in your yard. Teaching kids about dragonflies and their role in the environment fosters a sense of stewardship and curiosity about the natural world around us. Plus, it's a fun way to engage with and spend time outdoors with your kids. So I'll encourage you to help educate others about the importance of these insects. And try creating some habitat in your yard that supports their life cycle. And if you thought this video was interesting, don't miss this next adventure with an important conservation message.